Hello YouTube. How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. This beautiful video, <laughs> this beautiful video is going to be about a broken stud in a freaking LS head or LT head. This is an LT head. Um, customer's vehicle, stud broke off. Um, this is very common for the 6.0 engines, the truck engines, all the truck engines, basically. It's very common for the Ford, sorry, this is the rear stud, or the the front bolt, I'm sorry, bolt, not stud, for them to break up. It's a break, that break up. It's a, they, they don't want a relationship. They want to just do their own thing. They're on Tinder, whatever. Anyways, so sometimes, most of the time, these bolts will snap off because of the flanges heating up and contracting. They'll, they'll open up and, and close and stuff like that. So you get exhaust leakage, like here, for example. So we got to get that little guy out of there. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that with a welder. <laughs> now, obviously, this is on the bench, which makes life a whole lot easier. Uh, you can do it inside the truck, but I will be honest with you, it is a pain in the asinine. Not going to lie. So... All you need is a, a little MIG welder. This is my little MIG 140. It's a great welder. I, I welded my bumpers together, my move bumpers, my move header crack I'm welding together. I did fix it. If you remember the, one of the last videos, the uh, freaking, I got to get wire. The wire's all tangled up. It was messing up. I just gave up on it. But I did fix it, so it works now. So it's good. But we're basically going to be using some map gas to heat up the spot. And then we're going to be using a nut. Might have to use two nuts, I don't know. Hopefully this is enough a nut, <laughs> enough a nut, to go over this and to weld that in place. And then we're gonna be using our trusty 15 millimeter and snap on ratchet to hopefully break it loose. I'm waiting for some PB Blaster to show up. Once PB Blaster gets here, then we can start. But this is my intro. All right, so we have our PB Blaster. We're gonna definitely need that. I'm gonna show you why. And we are, we are ready. We are ready to, to hopefully get this bolt out. These things can be, they can definitely be a little tricky. Um, so hopefully we can get that thing out of there. Uh, the threads look kind of messed up, but I don't know. We're gonna see what we can do here. Let's set the camera right uh, right there like so. Now the first thing I like to do is I like to heat this up. So. The reason why I do this is because it's cold in the shop, you know, it's not the warmest shop in the world. So I want to make sure I can get this kind of up to temperature, the aluminum rounded up to temperature for good welding. All right, so it's, it's, it's getting warm. It's getting warm. All right, that should do it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna to try to weld onto the bolt itself before we put the nut on. All right, so now, what we need to do is we need to take our nut. We're gonna sit it right on top like that. Oh god, it's in there. Oh, found it. Found it. So this is the quick part. You gotta kinda do like this. Right here. Look how juicy red that is, guys. Look at that. Here's the magic trick. Here's the magic trick. So what you do, take a little bit of this PB Blaster here and you, you spray it. <laughs> you guys probably don't believe me, but watch this shit. You cool it down with PB Blaster. 
And it, uh, I don't know why it works, but it, it works, trust me. It does something to the metal. And I'm no scientist, so. I'm assuming it just gets into the, the bolt hole. But I hope I got a good weld on this. Hope I get a good weld on this. All right, we're gonna soak this down. We're gonna get it cooled down. And then we're gonna try to pull it off. All right, guys. So we're gonna hope and pray this works. We're really lightly on it here. I don't know. I don't know. Nope. It did not work. It did not work, guys. <sighs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be more fun than I want to have, to be honest. Ugh. Well, you know what you do, you get another nut, you weld it again, that's all. All right, new nut. As you can see, I guess what happened was, I made really good contact there, but I just didn't have enough of heat to make good contact in there, unfortunately. So, I think it's because I, I took my time, and I, I should have not taken my time. Another big thing is make sure you clean up the PB blaster around everywhere before you start welding again, because it will catch on fire and smoke and do all kinds of shit. So make sure you do that. So let's weld another nut onto here. Hopefully we can get it out this time. Second nut. Ah, that's what she said. So we're gonna spray this down as well. We're gonna let it cool down, and hopefully this one comes out. All right, guys. I think I got it. Think I got it. You gotta go real slow. But I think I got it. Go, oh, yep, I got it. There it is, guys. Whew. Second time's a charm, man. Oh god, I thought I was supposed to I thought I was gonna do this a third time. I was getting kind of sad to be honest. Look at that bolt come out, ladies and germs. Look at that. Look at, look at that, guys. I'm an export. I know how to do stuff. I'm so awesome. I'm so awesome. Don't touch that with your wingles, your fingles. Look at that thing come out. That's awesome. Oh, my God. I was getting a little scared, guys, not going to lie. I was like, man, am I going to be able to get this out? Is it going to screw me over? Find out on the next episode of DFR. <laughs> There she is. Oh, come on. Come on out of there, you weirdo. I'm gonna touch it. It's hot. It's smoky hot, guys. Just be careful. Look at that. Look at that. Little bit of welding. Little bit of nut. And a little bit that comes right on out of there. So now all we gotta do is just clean this up a little bit here. Um, my recommendation, run a tap through this. Uh, because of the weld and all the material that's on there. Make sure you run a tap through that and then you're ready to put the header back on or the manifold or stick the head back on the vehicle. It doesn't matter what you got to do. But there you go, guys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy. Well, guys, there you go. One fixed head, which is freaking awesome, to be honest, because after that first one, I'm not going to lie, I was a little afraid that I wasn't going to be able to freaking do it. And I, was, I didn't, I just don't want to keep wasting time if I don't have to waste time. And I would have sent it out somewhere else. There's a, there's a couple places around me that do this for a freaking living. No joke, exhaust shops. And they are freaking good at it. And that's how I learned how to do it. So when this happens occasionally here at the shop, uh, when they come in broken and they need fixed regardless, like if I'm putting a set of headers on something and I find that, you know, the back bolt's broken or the front bolt's broken, I kind of have no choice. You have to do it right and you have to make sure it's done right and... Uh, make sure that you don't send the vehicle out with a broken stud or a broken bolt in there. And I've seen people do it before where it's, they, they don't even want to deal with it. They just tell the customer, well, it's a broken bolt and we don't deal with that, but your headers are installed. So good luck. And it's leaking exhaust out the freaking back. So I don't want to do that to people. It's not the right way of doing things. So now this thing's fixed. So, Ooh, the fire department is getting a call. If you guys hear that siren, it's the fire department getting a call. So, uh, we're going to end the video. Oh, I don't even know how long it is, but hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. 
and I'll try to get some more content out for you guys. Other than that, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing, and deuces, you beautiful people.